For the latest top tips, reviews and advice, please subscribe below. Hello and welcome to Atwell's Camping and Leisure with me, Mike. Today I'm giving you guys a review on a product that's got a few changes to the 2080 season. So this behind me here is the Camper Sutherland 8 Air Classic. So they do a Sutherland 8 Air Pro. Pro and Classic differences. Pro is polyester, Classic is polycotton. So this is more like your traditional sort of cotton canvas and you're going to buy your Guadalupe's and that song, but a slight twist to it because it's got a polyester element to it. The joy that means it's quicker to dry and yet again, it keeps the price point where it needs to be. The joys of poly cotton is actually because it reacts with the temperature. So certainly on a hotter day, like today, you know, the weevil at span is a lot cooler inside and you will notice a massive difference between a polyester tent and a poly cotton, even in the UK weather. If you're going across, you know, to Europe, really you need to be thinking about a poly cotton tent because for the polyester is fine for the UK market because we don't get too, too warm he says, um, but really, yes, and because it doesn't breathe, the factability of it really, it kind of, you need to make sure you wear polycotton if you're going to Europe. Like I said, the polycotton actually sort of reacts to temperature, so with the weave, when it's hotter, it expands and allows air to pass through, so it's a lot cooler on the inside. On the flip side of that, when it's actually cooler, it sort of keeps it the same and keeps the warmth inside, so that's one of the benefits of polycotton. Others include, obviously, it being more like a canvas material, so it's flapping the wind, you haven't got that sort of synthetic um, sort of noise going on. In terms of durability, it's going to last you longer as well, so you get a longer lifespan out of the tent. Initially, obviously, you do pay more for it because it's a, a better fabric to work with, um, but you get longer lifespan, you know, and yet again, you look at it, it just looks brilliant, to be fair. One thing, certainly with the Sutherland 8 for the 2018 collection, is that they've changed the colour, so it's now a nice sort of grey, and I think it looks a lot smarter, actually, rather than that sort of um, yellowy yellow sand kind of colour. I think certainly it makes it look a bit sort of next sort of level. Traditionally with the Sutherland, like I said, you've got six at the back, sort of a main sleeping area, a two berth in the bedroom just to make it eight berth in there, a nice canopy area which has a sealed door. What we've currently got on at the moment is this is an extra canopy which zips on to the front. So what you can do is just, obviously it doesn't come with this, you just zip it on as you need to, have an extra and you've got a bit more shelter there as well. There is a door the position on the front anyway, so check out the uh, images we have of the uh, Studland just to sort of, if you want to get your head around that. But the other thing that's good about the camper range is they actually have this easy pegging system. So you've got blue tabs for the main pegging points. So you just literally peg those out first, and then these points here, which are the guy ropes, this point here will peg the base of the tent and the guy rope all in one point. So basically it's making it quicker for you to put your tent up. And you can quite happily adjust it at the top here for the guy rope. This tent, we can check out our own Atwalls pitching video on this particular tent. Uh, I think it took myself on my own about 13 minutes, so it's incredibly quick for something of this size. You know, if it was a pole model, you would be looking at easily 20, 30, 40 minutes, and that's probably with two people to be fair. So that's where air really does come into its own. But again, the bag size is pretty sizable because it's basically a poly cotton tent, uh, and it weighs approximately about sort of 50 kilograms. So just double check the size requirements on that before having a look at the actual item. But one thing is certainly the change for the 2018 collection is campus sort of how they're priced, but up the spec, and that's made real, really good, interesting points when you can sort of comparison this with the Illusion 800 TC. And that's essentially what it's up against, you know. This tent's a little bit wider, it's a little bit longer. Um, at least it's got, Vango's got some of their own features in their own tent. This has got some of their own features in this. So it's a very, very close thing. The Sutherland's actually will be on display at our indoor showroom in Gloucestershire. So you come and all, always come and have a look at that and get a touch and feel for it and see what sort of quality it is. And yet again, by standing inside of it, you can kind of imagine yourself in the tent a bit better than these videos are helpful, but it's nothing in comparison to the real thing. One thing that we also offer at Alls here is um, a 0% finance. So if you can't, if you like the tent and you want to buy it, but you can't necessarily afford it in one solid payment, then yet again, there's an option you can look at and the details of that on our website as well. Um, but you can sign and get a bit more idea for these sort of nice PVC window panels, mesh panels on top. You've got curtains on the inside, we'll go through in a second, a nice side door and a new ventilation panel down the bottom of the bedroom to help with circulation, yet again, to try and keep it nice, fresh and airy inside and help combat condensation. But we'll talk a few more about different things and features inside the tent, which certainly has changed the 2018 season when we have a look inside. So now we're inside and so you can kind of get a bit more of a better feel for how the tent is. Obviously, like I said on the outside, your nice big canopy area, which has got the enclosed door, your main living area, and obviously the sleeping area at the back. So we've run through sort of section by section how the tent is and sort of different features inside the tent itself. 
Uh, first one of which, obviously, I said about the zip-down door. So there's a door at the front here, which makes this front area completely enclosed. Uh, and it's quite simply just rolled away at the moment. So you, get, you have the versatility of having it completely open and absolutely in shelter, but still allowing air to come flying in. The door has several positions in place. Uh, so you've got sort of like a third, two thirds or completely shut. And yet again, you've got windows in here, uh, which are yet again are also zip up as well. Uh, so that for me, I think is a really nice thing because you have the versatility of either way. And quite simply, if you don't want to have it up at all, you can just sort of roll it back. And then you've got some few toggle points just to keep it at bay. One thing is a new feature, like I said, which you can use in the ventilation uh, is there's a mesh door you can now buy. And similar to what you've got on the canopy, you sort of have it a mesh door or you have the canopy, so you can choose either or. Um, a lot of people probably would grow for the mesh door over the canopy, but the canopy is quite nice for an extra bit of shelter. And you can, on the, certainly on the sides with nice big windows, it gives you a bit of uh, protection against the wind. Overall, the canopy depth is quite decent, actually, even with the door shut. Um, you could quite happily put you know, a cooking unit or a table and chairs out here and still have plenty of room and you're out in the way of their living area. So most people would use this sort of as a wet dry zone because the sewing ground sheet is obviously a living area but not in here. There is a ground sheet supplied for this area and it's sort of yet again, there's little toggle points in the corners just to lay it flat. Personally, I wouldn't put it in just because if you didn't have the canopy in for example, you have this door left open, it starts chucking it down with rain, it's going straight into the ground and soaks up rather than sort of collecting on the ground sheet and then finding its way underneath the actual body of the tent. So for, for me, I wouldn't necessarily use that. Always a nice thing to have even if you don't want to use it. One thing you got throughout the whole tent is, like I said, they've up specced it. So really, you've also got a lovely polycot material, but you've got zip up curtains now. So all of the internal uh, windows have zip ups. So that was a major thing that was sort of lacking from last year's model. I think, yeah, again, for keeping the price point that it is, but up spec it really does make it a very competitive model to look at if you're looking at classic, you know, polycotton and in air. One thing, again, my personal favorite, favorite feature about the tent is the mesh panels uh, that are in place high. And also you've got a few now low, which have been introduced. It just gives you good circulation of air, even if you're in sort of uh, the UK or in certainly in hotter conditions like Portugal, Spain, France, wherever you want to be, that thing there giving you a good airflow without having sort of bugs and critters coming in, certainly at night time, I think is a massive plus point. And yet again, because you've got so many scattered around the tent, I think you've just got great opportunity there to make sure it's, you get a good night's sleep, you're not too warm. So uh, moving on to the sort of living area, like I said, you can see there is a zip door here um, and you've got a quite happily a, a flat entrance into the living area. The thing I do like about that is you're not going to trip up or the kids are not going to trip up walking in or out of the tent. And that's not something you see too often. So that great thing is a really nice option. Um, you've got this panel will zip away completely and you can roll it back similar as you can to the front door. And that sort of opens up the living area a bit and gives you a bit more, like I said, back to that versatility word, really. Um, so yeah, that can just zip up and you can see, obviously, there's window panels which can be quite happily removed. So again, you can pop that back and that can toggle back in place like so. Um, and now actually by doing that, you can kind of get a bit of a better feel. This is the extra inner bedroom you can see. So one thing you can do if you wanted to is just during the daytime, remove that and actually make, make best room out of that. I think certainly for the night time, put up and actually have people inside of there. But really, I think when you come to the nitty gritty part of actually having an area, that's about a quarter of your living area, which it can be quite valuable, especially on the rainy day. I mean, you have got a mesh panel positioned on this air bedroom and because of the depth of it and the width of it, you could actually get a normal sort of camp bed inside of there. So that's quite a nice little thing as well. Um, but simply you can just take it out by untoggling it all. Do, 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 do. and then remove it completely. So we can leave it like that for the time being, leave it toggled in. But you can kind of get the issue. You can kind of get this or the whole idea of it really. One thing you get in this tent, which is brilliant, is the height. So, you know, me being six foot two, I can stand up in the corners, no problem at all. And certainly one thing you probably look on the lower model below it, like the Croyd, and they do a classic version of that. And then again, you haven't got quite the same sort of angle on the roof. It does feel a bit lower. And certainly for me or taller people in general, I think the Studland really is probably the winner. 
in all of the beams where it's situated, you've got the option of actually using the save, flexi saber lights. So there's a little Valkyra part here, which just allows you to have lighting without having the issue of one sort of lantern. And again, you can actually have a um, by sort of a starter kit. So one of these, which comes with a main plug and you can add add-ons. So every single beam, and even in the canopy area here, has that little Valkyra pit pre-stitched in. So you don't have to, all you do is buy a starter and then how many add-ons you want to put to the point of where you want to put them. So you can quite believe say, one in, the live, one in over the bedroom area, one in here and one in the canopy area. So one starter, two add-ons, really does sort of light up the whole tent and you haven't got to worry about extra lighting. You've still got ventilation panel above the points here as well. So you, again, you can still have circulation of air high and low. Uh, moving on sort of to the sleeping area here. The bedrooms are more than comfortable taking sort of a double air bed. So essentially, like I said, it's a six, eight berth. So you've got two berths there and then six at the back. So you can have it as a two, two and a two, or four and a two, and they're all interconnected. So if you want to, you can have this one big open six berth bedroom. But like I said, for me, I can still stand up in the middle. The problem actually, if you go into the corner, I can still stand up in here. So yet again, if I want to get changed uh, first thing in the morning or last thing in the evening, I haven't got to be crouching down trying to get my trousers on. Um, you think got, yeah, again, still got storage pockets located in there and yet again in the end of bedrooms itself so in the bottom part here you've got storage pockets down here just to put sort of keys torches and just make things sort of uncluttered inside the tent the dividers between the two sections actually zip dividers so the joys of that again because it zips all the way around it really does feel like a separate inner bedroom and with a darker colored now it can make it feel quite dark inside of here so hopefully you should get a good night's rest or more importantly your kids have a good night's rest and again <laughs> The doors itself, you've got a ventilation panel, sort of mesh panel at the front, so you don't have to, again, have the problems of circulation or getting too hot inside the end bedrooms. And that twinned up with the extra ventilation for, by sort of the outside of the tent, you again, just tries to make the inter internal temperature a bit cooler inside of here. Along with the lights, if you don't want to go for the Sabre kit, you've still got sort of Velcro points here to hang a lantern or put the cable and tidy it all away. So again, nice hanging point there as well. And you've still got two side doors. So both side doors have a mesh panel in them. So yet again, if you wanted to, I'm back to that circulation issue, uh, you can do that as well. But the one on this left-hand side over here has kind of a brow canopy. So you can, you can, again, when it's raining, you can still enter and exit this door here without having to worry about, you know, the rain coming in or, you know, say if, if you want to leave that mesh point open and leave the door open, you're not going to have the water coming in because that brow quite happily saves you. But I said a really impressive model and certainly something they built on from last year. I think for the price point now, it's a very, very, very good buy. Um, like I said, come and look at it on our indoor showroom and any questions, of course, let us know. But that, in theory, is the Camper Studlin 8 Air Classic.